New data reveals aspiring teachers here in Florida are still struggling to pass the state's teacher test. It's an investigation our Katie Legrone was first to break more than a year ago. And tonight, her Emmy Award winning series continues with the new failure rates and how the state's promise to help has also failed. I'm so ready to be in the classroom. As Florida classrooms prepare to fill next year's vacancies, the system is flawed. Thousands of aspiring Florida teachers continue their battle. Raising the bar. I can't pass it. Just to get in the door. It's a matter of justice. Keeps me up at night. For more than a year, we've been following their stories. It doesn't make sense. Promising young teachers who excelled in college. It makes you feel stupid failed Florida's teacher's test. Do not want us. Many over and over again. Even active teachers with proven records in the classroom. They're leaving us without a job. Terminated because they couldn't score on the state's mandatory licensing exam, made more rigorous in 2015 to align with tougher student tests. Angers me that a test decides my worth. But more than a year after we reported how the state anticipated the drop in pass rates, adding scores typically increase over time, we've discovered the latest pass rates show little to no change. Elementary math, 61% last year, up just a hair from a year earlier. General knowledge math, still 57% for the third year in a row. And elementary language arts, static at 54% new state data shows. It's a lot of teachers, potential teachers who uh, are not able to become teachers because of not being able to pass. At the University of South Florida, by the end of spring, nearly a quarter of education students had yet to pass portions of the general knowledge part of the exam. It's an issue. It's been an issue for three years now, and, and I don't see it changing. It's a problem the state doesn't appear to be concerned about. Responding to our questions with this month old press release touting Florida's student progress as most improved nationwide. Does it make much sense? There are a lot of factors that, that play a role in, in, in an individual student's success. Those are two separate issues. But State Representative Robert Asensio isn't satisfied. As a result of our report, he introduced legislation calling for an independent task force to ensure the validity of the test. He also wanted better study guides and lower costs. While the bill never went anywhere, Asensio isn't giving up. It's unfair to have people fail and then have the leave them with the uncertainty of them really not knowing why they're why why they're failing. Or as the latest test results show, why the state doesn't appear to be doing much. You just feel so defeated. To help. It's not unexpected. You gotta do something about something in order to make it better. State efforts to help teachers pay for these tests also failed. That budget not approved by lawmakers. And just today we've confirmed Congressman Brian Mass is also looking into this test and its failure rates. I'm my team investigator Katie Legrone taking action for you.